Hello, this is Aaron from Mofi and DIY, and I'm coming to you from my basement cigar room um, to introduce to you a uh, new product. I'm really excited about this product because I've been thinking about it on and off for basically see since 2016 when they discontinued pack film it is basically the lo-fi xo in this case instax square there will be other xos coming up uh, but basically it is an instant back for your pack film camera in this case i've got a 195 or i'm sorry this is a 180 i've got a 180 attached and it's called exo because it's exoskeleton like in the movies where they put on these big armored suits and everything. This is kind of like an exoskeleton to the pack film camera. In the spirit of um, the inventions that I've done in the past, this is actually uh, completely non-destructive. And I make sure that they're all that way. You can see um, these things are, look like they're attached, but they're attached in simple pivot points that uh, won't actually harm the camera in any way, shape, or form. Um, and here is the back. That's how you open the film door. There's a, uh, a battery section here. In this case, I'm going with uh, two CR2s. Um, and there's actually a detachable stand here. If you don't, if you want to detach this, you can. But otherwise, the stand actually allows the camera to sit nice and flat, despite the fact that there's an overhang at the bottom. It also has a built-in, as you may be able to see, a tripod socket right there. Okay, so this is the XO, Lo-Fi XO. Now, the thing about the Lo-Fi XO IS is it is, since um, this particular camera doesn't have the usual, well, actually commonly known nowadays, uh, Polaroid reflective sort of thing, um, ironically, the Instax uh, or Fuji film stuff works on this one better um, and doesn't create that mirror effect that if you're using regular Polaroid film you will need a mirror inside for it to be corrected um, and uh, but if you actually put it in this type of back it will be mirrored it'll be backwards but in this case Instax Instax square in this case is actually uh, perfect for this camera I chose to actually make the first one uh, with Instax Square because I wanted it to be perfectly centered so you get full optimization of that wonderful Zeiss Icon rangefinder. Those who don't know need to know, need to know. this is amazingly wonderful uh, rangefinder and my prior uh, innovation uh, for a pack film camera adaptation could not fully utilize the rangefinder. This one particularly does a wonderful job of the rangefinder. So you can actually focus using the normal slides on the side right there. Okay, very, very simple to use. Now, as far as actually, um, as far as actually uh, setting it up, the only thing you have to do with that camera is take off that back film door and you will find there's a pin Okay, that goes through. You just simply uh, extract the pin. You'll find that there's a little plastic top and bottom. Those are kind of annoying, but you can eventually get that to tap out with a, a pin or a nail and just get that pin out. I like to keep it in the camera back so I don't lose it, or you could keep it with the film door. Uh, hold on to this, because if you ever decide to go back to back film, to original, there is no other adaptation that's happened to it. Uh, no harm done to the actual camera itself. With that in mind, there were lots of cameras with the electric timers on them. And since uh, the, the uh, automatic variety actually requires, um, since, since the automatic variety does not have fully manual lens like that, um, it requires batteries. Uh, the uh, 180, 190, 195, none of those, actually, I believe the 190 might have an electric timer. But anyway, the 180 and the 195 do not require any batteries because they're not automatic. In this case, this has a little timer that's electronic 
all you've got to do is get as much of that line as you can when you're slipping that out. Um, that way, if you ever reinstall it, it'll be easy to hook that wire wiring right back up. So that's what you do with these types that actually have a built-in timer. And that way you can keep them going forever. Now, I took that back. As you can see, this one has the front of the XO. Um, I can easily swap and put the uh, back on there. You see it's open back right now. Okay. Um, but I took the back and I put it on here for the holidays uh, to take pictures because I actually love the effect that the 450 automatic gave off with this flash cube. It's high, um, high intensity flash cube. It's actually quite wonderful. And, uh, basically I, uh, like to use it because if you look, let's see if I can make it do what it needs to do. Okay. You might be able to see these louvers moving when I shift the, there you go, the focus. You'll see the louvers moving. That means basically it's an adjustable flash. It's a variable flash based on distance, even though it uses a cube. And because of that blast of light and that adjustability, what it ends up doing for me is capturing this perfect portrait with a lot of times a fall off of black if there's any kind of distance. And I like that. I like how it, how it cleans things up that way. Now to use this, because all automatics are going by um, a different standard than the 800 uh, ASA ISO of, uh, of the film type of Fuji, um, Fuji, Fuji Instax Square, what I did is I made a slight adjustment here Okay, and I set it to uh, 300. And then if you see up here, there's actually an adjuster up top here you can see as well. But I set it to a, the 300 speed. I made a slight adaptation here. If you, when you're dialing in your camera, and you do have to dial in your camera to get it right, because of course this, this camera has all kinds of vari variability, and since we're using 800 film, there's nothing that just says 800 on it. Um, you can make these little tweaks and get this perfect effect. Um, so I was able to use this quite easily. Um, I found it adapted quite nicely. And let's see. I have some holiday pictures I can kind of hold up and uh, show. See if we have a deep background. That's that that fall off I was talking about, where the background falls off. I love that effect. Uh, if it's shallow background, of course, you get the shallow effect. Okay, wait until this thing focuses here. Okay, it's not going to focus. Okay, um, but you can see that uh, the sharpness of this particular camera, and it's just a regular. Uh, automatic from the Polaroid uh, uh, pack film days, the sharpness is just incredible. Sorry, there's so much glare in this room. This is not ideal video conditions. Wait, wait until it focuses, or will it focus? I don't know. A little towards my face there. Okay. Well, it's not going to, it's not going to behave. So anyway, um, but you can take some incredible pictures. Let's see, I'll try to find some. Now I did take, I took a picture um, of my wife with the, uh, with the uh, 400 and like I said, that drop off, the drop off effect there. And even though in this picture, you cannot see, even though in this picture, the, the eyes look like little dots. I have a little handheld microscope and I was able to zoom in on the eyes and it's kind of incredible. It shows her eye color hazel despite the fact that they're pinpoints here. So for me, that's kind of made me question all the stuff I've heard about how um, basically how low resolution integral uh, integral instant film is because this Fuji instant film is incredibly sharp. Uh, it's it's really quite amazing. And uh, so anyway, um, with this back, with the uh, XO back, 
you should be able to use it with all of the metal pack film cameras. Eventually, I will make an adaptation for the plastic pack film cameras, uh, but for now, just the metal ones. That would be, um, let's see if I can do these right off the top of my head here. The, uh, the 100, the 250, um, the 350, the, I believe there was a 355 and a 360, and uh, then there was the 4. 50. I, I'm missing one. Oh, the, I'm sorry. I, I didn't say the 240. The 240 is also a metal pack film camera. Okay, so back to the 450. Um, then there's the uh, uh, 455 and um, jumps right up to the uh, 180, the 190, at 195. I believe that's it. But basically, these types of packed film cameras here. And, of course, the automatic style as well. Okay, so I hope that was informative, and I will have, hopefully, I will have that uh, product online very soon. I was just excited to get the word out. That's why it's in this chaos space, um, because my space upstairs is even more messy. Uh, so I, thought, I just wanted to get the word out that uh, this product is, is in the works, and hopefully... Um, it'll be available to you uh, through eBay, where I do my selling. Okay, thank you.